You guys no. ready for this? Dun, Mark's gonna be dun, mouth breathing the whole dun, time. Dun, 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 dun. Is that still happening? <laughs> Mark, your mouth breathing is out of control. Every episode? Just about, yeah. God damn. Do you need my inhaler? Maybe. Little, yeah, you might have to get that check. Are you of, uh, kidding? I mean, you're a heavy mouth breather. Shut up. Hold on, open your mouth and look at me. <clears throat> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. Yeah, it's the tonsils. Is it, are you fucking with me? Is it really that? Bad? Let, me see, let me see your tonsils. You're I'm not going. Like this. You should go to a doctor. You should get that checked. Why is why? Because of your tonsils, dude. All I can hear is you breathing in the microphone all like the whole time. Like I, I don't hear anything right now, but except you're breathing. Close your mouth. I'm not breathing right now. <laughs> I fucking hate you guys. I like how he talks differently. I'm yeah, doctor, uh, right I've been now. just breathing, and apparently <laughs> it's not totally silent, so... Is there any way I can stop that? It's bugging my coworkers. Death Talk, episode 22. Coming to you from my sweaty office in Beverly, Massachusetts... I have I have a new microphone in front of me. I should uh, sound like a million bucks now. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, Did you spend a million bucks on it? <laughs> no, no. Um, we're uh, we're this is uh, if you saw us on Periscope. Was it last week? <laughs> no, was one, it last week? No one saw us on Periscope. Yeah, yeah. We uh, we were we were uh, teasing the new Death Talk setup here. So uh, yeah, we have a little new setup here. We're um, we're all recording in my office now as opposed to on the internet, which is weird. I really don't like seeing you guys in real life. Um, right back at you. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, hopefully we uh, sound a bit better and the production value goes up on the podcast. All those sponsors coming in now, so we uh, yeah. up the uh, up the production Yeah, budget. We're, we're usually charging like 100, 200K per <laughs> ad, but now it's like five to six hundred. Yeah. <laughs> So we uh, should uh, sound a lot better, but hey, um, why don't we do the usual and uh, introduce the crew? Caleb, I have you right in front of me. You have hey, a slick new haircut. Hey, Rich, looking good, you know? Getting ready for this is hardcore? No, I'm just getting ready for, you know, radio. Gotta look good for it. Yeah, you have a face for radio. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mark, hi. Hey. Hi. Uh, Chris is here. Hello, I'm here. And uh, standing behind Chris is Gil. Hello. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have a lot of people in this room, and I'm. Ar- it's we're three minutes into the podcast, and I'm uh, sweating. Wait, can we come back to me? I got a haircut as well. You didn't mention it. So. Oh yeah, Chris got a haircut too. <laughs> so uh, yeah, Chris, you look great. Thanks. Chris's Hi. haircut looks better than mine. Well, you, you have didn't to take much. Game man. Uh, so, <laughs> so um, yeah. We're gonna do what we usually do, even with our uh, new uh, new setup here. But uh, Mark, bring us in. Tell us about the news. I can do that. Uh, so a couple things we can talk about. We can talk about how Loma Prieta just announced their new record, uh, which will be coming out October second. That's a uh, CD, digital, and cassette coming out October second. But the vinyl will be out November thirteenth. Um, the album's called Self Portrait. Uh, it's really good. Uh, there's going to be a seven inch for the song "Love" that is going to go up on Friday. This Friday, uh, July twenty fourth. Yeah, July twenty fourth. It also has a B side. Exclusive. Yeah. There we go. Trilogy Zero. Exclusive yeah. to the seven inch. So there's yeah. going to be a thousand copies. Yep. Of that pre order. That's your only chance. Yeah, going to go up on uh, Friday. Also, downloads are immediate, right? Yeah. So on Friday, you can yeah, just really listen to the song, and uh, it should awesome be on song. like you know Spotify and stuff like that too. So cool. Um. You'll be able to hear that stuff right away. Very excited. Very exciting record. It'll be great. Um, artwork's really cool. Check out the artwork for the seven inch and the LP. It's gonna be great. Yeah. Uh Planes Mistaken for Stars Mercy reissue is out now. Uh ow, if you ow. order pre order, it's shipped to you. If uh Is that right, Gil? Yep, they're all out. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Last one of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, and we still have copies here, so feel free to come buy one and check it out online. And Let me give tell it a you listen. that purple silver variant looking good. Rich is so Banging. proud of this. I have it on the turntable right over I, there. I always yell at Rich it's, for it's, I think his color variant selection. I think it might be my favorite color variant that we've ever. Done. I got to give it to you. It looks good. I got to give it another look. I think I only saw it like once. Damn, you gotta check that out. It's yeah. a good variant. I'll check it out. 
Good, good ver- <laughs> it's a good ver, bro. <laughs> Dude, you're missing out. Check out that variant. It's on our Twitter. I mean, no, it's on our Instagram. Check out that ver. Um, I put a slow motion video on the Instagram of it. Did you really? Yeah, you didn't see that? I didn't. No, I don't have an Instagram. You weren't one of the. Oh yeah, you're who weird. You don't have Instagram, Rich. You forget every I know. fucking week, Wh- dude. Why are you being so weird? Just get an Instagram. I don't want one. You're- I don't want to have an internet trail of my life. You have then- Twitter though. Yeah, but I don't post anything on it. Yeah, but like you want to follow shit, don't you? Like seeing pictures. Sure. Who the hell do you think you are? I don't know. Instagram is my favorite. It's the that's most what everyone fun. says, but yeah. I don't know, man. It's short and sweet. Sleepy just deep. pictures. Yeah, I get Snapchat too, so I can snap you pictures of Caleb like I do everyone else. So anyways, uh, there's a new uh, Coliseum music video for uh, Sharp Fang's Pale Flesh on YouTube. That's on the Death Wish YouTube page. Uh, real cool. Real cool video. Real cool song. Yeah, so it's make featuring sure you check Will it out. Oldham. Will Oldham. That's what it was. Yeah. I was going to say his name, but I didn't remember his last name, but Will Oldham. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, and that's pretty much it for the uh, news section. That's it for the news. That's it for the news. Um, thanks, Mark. Thanks for the news. You got it. Uh, how's the newsroom this summer? Is it a little slower? A little less news this summer? Or you know, people... it's, it's a little hot. We're in and out of uh, newscasters. We got this new, <laughs> this new uh, guy. He's on screen. He's got a great... He's he really likes the new newscasters. <laughs> I was um, say. He's got a great face for TV, but he doesn't really have that much of a news background. So he's stumbling, he's fumbling, but I'm I'm really pulling for him. Uh, we ran out of uh, paper for the printers. You need that. Newscasters are always shuffling their papers when the cameras. Don't they on. just use iPads now? Uh, no, we still shuffle papers. We're an old school news <laughs> news uh, station, so. They're like local news. Feel free, anyone, to just stop me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, it's about that time. Everyone's favorite segment. We've been getting a lot of good feedback about Gills World. It's dope. How do Hello. You feel? <laughs> How, do <you> feel? <laughs> How do you feel about that, Gills? He doesn't look too happy. You know, it's like, feels like good. It feels good to be recognized. Yeah, just like recognized for all my hard work I put into society over the into years. Into Gills World. Yeah. Uh, well, Caleb, Mark, Chris, you guys want to bring us into Gills World? Gills World <laughs> party time, <laughs> excellent. Well, Gil, everyone knows how much Schwing. you love Oreos, correct? Yeah, people must think that's like my only interest. Like I don't do anything besides think about Oreos. Right. Gil's a very I interesting guy outside of Oreos. <laughs> I've never seen you do anything else besides eat Oreos. I like to do a lot of fun things. Okay. Well, um, I was at um, the grocery store the other day, and um, I picked up a package of Oreo Thins. Really? Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah they're, they're in your <laughs> I got, hand. I got them in my hand, Amazing. Actually. They're in your hand. Um, yeah, I was there. And you know what I noticed? Uh, it's not actually... It wasn't in with the other Oreos. Yeah. They've been getting, like, end caps, I heard. Yeah, like, end caps. It was on the end cap. I was at, at, we- the, yeah, at Wegmans. Wegmans, yeah. I was at the grocery store, and I get to the counter. I was buying some Oreo fudge-covered ones. They're pretty good in the summer. You put them in the fridge. It's almost like ice cream. It's like a chilled treat covered in chocolate. Yeah. I gotta try that. So I'm getting those. I get, so, to, I get to the counter, and, you know, the lady's like, yo, have you had the thin ones? They're on an end cap, like, near the free fr- frozer frozen section. <laughs> the frozer? And I was like, nah and that was it <laughs> it got kind of weird right well the checkout well i got the oreos you have them in your hand i think everyone can hear them on the audio there now these are the uh standard flavored oreos right they yeah. are there's yeah. also an oreo thin with the vanilla as well yeah vanilla yeah. and vanilla but you're not really into that no no all right so why don't you go ahead and um tear those open and uh take a bite now when you when you try them out, I want I want people to hear the the crunch into the microphone. All right, all right, all right. So yeah, as a note here, usually Oreos have three rows. There's only two, two long. There's ones. only two <laughs> rows in there. <laughs> well, they're, they're thin. Well, I was gonna say, hold on, before you eat it, before you, let's let's evaluate the package a little bit. Okay, straight up, oh I want to make a God. note that the back says instead of saying like any nutritional facts and big things, it just says a thin, crisp, elegant take on the original. Straight up, this isn't elegant. This so, is like giving someone half of something. You have it in your hand right now. It looks very thin. It doesn't look like there's much um, cream in there at all. If you look at it from more than like a foot away, it looks like it's just two crackers. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> wait, before you, before you, let, let's just evaluate that a little bit more. The packaging is uh, now. I don't. Can, is there a count on there? Is there a count of like how many Oreos are in there? 
doesn't actually say that, right? No, but I'm going to go ahead and say it looks like you probably get like 30 of these things. Yeah, I'm going to say you're definitely getting screwed. Like, they're thinner and you get, you're get you getting less. I feel like they're giving people something no one asked for. Yeah, this is like seriously... Well, who knows? You, once you try it, you might actually be into it. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get down let's, to it. Let's hear you. I want to hear that bite right into the microphone there. <laughs> All right, so Gil, you just took a bite of the Oreo Thin uh, Oreo. Kind of um, like, kind of like biting into a tortilla trip. Or yeah, <laughs> you know, this type of thing where it's kind of weird if you don't put the whole thing in your mouth at once. All right, so why don't you finish it up? Right. So what do we think? I mean, yeah, it's full on Oreo flavor in a bite sized yeah. package here, but. Like you get almost nothing. It's like <laughs> <laughs> I assure you that anyone could sit here and eat this whole package easily. So yeah, I was gonna say, is there? Uh, do you even taste the cream? Like, or is it just all cookie basically? <laughs> you just ate like three. Yeah, how many did you just put in your mouth? <laughs> Two. Yo. Who feels better than one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <I'm sorry. laughs> So, so yo, pass those around. I'm I'm on, I'm on. Yeah, the, I think I want one too. It's just like I, a, I feel like if you were gonna, gonna ask like a survey on the street, like what's your favorite part of an Oreo, people are gonna say like the cream. No one's like hankering for the Oreo cookie. It's I like was, I was kind of chocolate say, cookie, you know. I'm uh, I'm on the unpopular opinion. I don't like the cream. It's my least favorite part. So I think these are for me. Okay. Yeah. Wow. That's weird. Kill. So um. <laughs> First taste. I know this isn't your official review yet. Oh, wow. I know These you probably need thing. a little bit more time with them. Or no, I got I got some initial thoughts. Okay, here. I'm gonna go ahead. Like, you put two of them in your mouth, it's still not a full on Oreo. You know, you probably need like two and a half to make a full Oreo. But the taste is there. It tastes like if you just bite into an Oreo immediately. Yo, I like it. It's I kind of like it too. It's light. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like. If you like eating a lot of stuff, it's pretty easy to eat a lot of them. So I just got to say, the actual cookie part is also thin. It's not just less cream. Yeah, yeah. it's just a very thin. Yeah, duh. yeah, they're not too bad. I like it. I'm is my mouth honest. playing tricks on me? Is it's, it? Is, it's just an Oreo. Is it, the cookie a little bit more flavorful? You're, yeah, I think they enhance the flavor. <laughs> enhance. It tastes a little bit more. I don't know. It just has a little bit more flavor to it. Yeah, definitely I think not so. not much cream taste to it, but. Yeah, but it's there. It's like... Okay, they're almost all halfway gone. (laughs) So, um, Gil, would you you suggest people try these? I mean, yeah, you should try every flavor of Oreo that comes out. Like, for example, (laughs) also on end caps, under thin Oreos, they're doing key lime pie. Oh. It's new. It's that's a new. Is that the limited edition flavor? Yeah, the new limited edition flavor replacing cotton candy or some stupid shit. Like, (laughs) I'm not a fan of key lime pie. Why? Like, in general... That crust, dude? Just not not a fan. Uh-huh. I don't know if I'd like that. Yeah, it's kind of tangy, so... Okay. I'm going to go out of my way to get some soon, hopefully. All right, All right so yeah, go um, next week, maybe? So Gil's, Gil says, give it a taste. Yeah. Try I, it out. I'd give it a taste, honestly, if you're looking for a light alternative to an Oreo, you know? I wouldn't... You don't even need milk for these, really. You can just go in on them. They're good. <laughs> <laughs> these are good. Yeah. Well, actually, I'm I'm surprised that like everyone yeah. actually likes them. Yeah, I'm surprised. But well, I mean, if you like Oreos, you'll like it's it's just an Oreo, just thin. Well, like, Gil was talking <laughs> uh, mad Oreo. shit about them on the last episode. Well, to be honest, I wanted to hate them. Well, <laughs> <laughs> let's let's say this: we were talking shit on it, how stupid it would be to have a thin Oreo. But we all know, if on Rich's desk there was a package of Oreo thins and fucking double stuffs, holiday edition. We're going to the double stuffs. Yeah, I'm going to the double stuffs. Maybe not everyone though. Like if you're the type really? to like, yeah. maybe if you were on a diet, you'd uh, go if to you're the on thins. A diet, or you're just into like pseudo eating healthy, where you're like, yeah, if an Oreo's thinner, it's better for me. You know, I'll eat like 15 <laughs> thin ones instead of four <laughs> big ones. Then yeah, thin Oreos are for you. Yeah, but, I just feel like I would just eat more of these as yeah. opposed to eating less. I could. Crush the entire package. Yeah, yeah I'm just yeah. <laughs> Death Clock like episode twenty one brought to you by Nabisco. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually twenty two. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Um, Gil, while you're here, um, uh, actually, I wanted to bring this up too. Um, you had a questionable thought 
about French fries last week. Yeah, what was the thought? I don't remember. We were talking about French fries and my cooking technique on French oh, fries. Oh, oh, yeah, you introduced me to something brand new. A whole yeah, new animal. and a you whole made a new you made a statement world. of that you said that you liked soggy French fries. Hell yeah! The, I used to call them wormies when I was a kid. <laughs> I loved the wormies. Uh, <laughs> I I lost a little bit of respect for you that day. Why? Uh. <laughs> Nobody likes soggy French fries. That's, like, no, I that's do. not I true. Do. Are you serious? I don't if I would get, man, yeah, like I, I, I seek them out, dude. I like all French fries. I like the soggy ones are good, yeah. but the soggy ones are good. Yeah, I'm, I'm not too picky, but I do prefer crunch. Yeah. Oh yeah, well, crunch really. It's basically if you have a crunchy French fry, you're biting into oil. Whereas if you have a soggy one. You just get a lot of soggy mashed potatoy goodness <laughs> in fry form. No, wait, are, are you the type of guy that would like microwave French fries? No, 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 no. I used to cook French fries a lot at home. I don't as much anymore, but yeah. I used to just be really impatient. So if the package said twenty six minutes, I'd go about fifteen and try eating them. Wow, like not even like golden brown. You just no, like, like just cooked enough so you can eat them. Yeah, they're not cold in the middle. So yeah, I'm just going for it. Yeah, that's questionable. I don't know. About I feel that. you. I do that too. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I don't. I don't think that's uh, the proper way to eat a French fry. Like, okay, if I was going to go to like a French fry place, like say, like they specialize <laughs> in French fries. Like then, what? <laughs> like, there's places. There's a place called uh, like Sauce or some something. It's in Boston. They do French oh, really? fries. That's like their thing. I think I've heard of that actually. I think someone yeah, told me that. Yeah, like I would probably want a crispy one from there because they're supposed to be like wicked good. But if I'm doing it, I don't give a shit. I have no standards for French fry cooking. Wow, you're just gonna do anything basically. Yeah. Okay. Fuck cooking French fries at home. Like they're not. They're like never good. Frozen it's not French a, fries. It's not a great option. Yeah. But um, better than nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. I mean, a deep fried. French fry is better than an oven baked French fry. Undoubtedly. Yeah, yeah. So, but sometimes you just, you know, you're at home. You want to cook French fries. Mm. <laughs> what, you guys don't do that? I, I don't. All right. I, I worked at a burger joint a while back and we made like absolutely fresh, like from the potato French fries. They were amazing. Like you sliced it? Yep. Like the potato? Yep. And... What was the name of the place? Uh, it was just a local place. What was Charlie's? Charlie's, yes. yeah, they closed. <laughs> well, obviously you work there. Hey, uh, <laughs> they, yeah, actually I quit. Guys, I started, that means wor- that I started working. Close. Started working at Target, where I, you know, I have a future. Target, at, have a where future. everyone has Target. a future. And they they wanted me back real bad. So you worked, but you worked in the uh, like not the Target a, store, like the the food, like the yeah. the, the fresh. I worked there fresh food. because yeah. because I had the Charlie's the I had the food right. experience. So they're right. like, oh, we want you for the Target kitchen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you would cook like the the six pe- years of like my the, life, like the Pizza Hut pizzas and stuff, like the individual yep. pizzas. Yeah, and like I fed, the uh, I fed the night crew every morning. They loved me. Yeah, because <laughs> like I actually had the shit. I had the shit ready for them. You yeah, know? you knew. The, like, the other people were just like, yeah, whatever. Like Steve would come in, and you're like, oh, Steve loves the yep. pepperoni pizza. Like yeah. I have that ready for him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They they knew what was up. Yeah, had a nice little touch yeah. to it. Like, Could you still we gotta, like? We got to go see Walt in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Could you still like repair an icy machine today? Oh yeah, I love the ICs at was, Target. If it was the same one, you know what's good? No lie, <laughs> I, I feel like they're probably they have a lot of different models. The popcorn, popcorn Popcorn's at, awesome. at Target. Wait, have you guys ever had it? My mom says like the best popcorn she's ever had is Target popcorn. I've heard multiple Wait, people really? say that. She's always like, she's like. I need to get some stuff. I'll go to Target, and she always like gets a little bag of popcorn. And, like, watch her. I need some popcorn. Lunch tomorrow. Oh, lunch the, for tomorrow. The... <laughs> <laughs> it's my mom's catchphrase. <laughs> she has a YouTube channel. Check it out. Um, she actually does. So, uh, Mark's mom's oh, really? awesome. Do you want to? Do you want to? Um... My mom reviews restaurants. And Are it's you serious? A nice little spot with Donna Connolly. <laughs> my brother like oh. films her. Oh, but I'll just do a little plug for the the channel. What's the channel? I think it's. I don't. I wish I knew. Oh, come if on. You, if Just you search up. on YouTube, a nice little spot with Donna yeah. Connolly. Okay, Chris, uh, add that to the show notes. We'll do. Thank definitely. you. That's definitely important. Um, Thank you. See uh, Mrs. Connolly uh, review the, restaurants. The, the Target in Worcester, the, the cafe thing turned into a Starbucks, and they didn't have popcorn anymore. Well, we we had both. Oh, this one just has Starbucks. Yeah. So she was pretty bummed. Okay. My my yeah. my buds over at the Starbucks would like hook me up with drinks. They're like, "Hey, I screwed this up. You want it?" And I was like, "Yeah, I did." <laughs> I was like, "I was like, yo, you want some slushy?" I shouldn't say this. Like, I don't know if that was uh, that's, uh, that's probably stealing. I don't think you can get prosecuted for it. No, now. it's six yeah. years is past the statute. Yeah, there's only like there's only like six people that listen to this podcast too. Oh, so. true. Yeah. That's yeah. 
I mean, the, the, the odds of someone at Target well, my old boss and upper listening, management listening they, to this. They want me back bad. Yeah, exactly. I exactly. know exactly what you're doing. If Caleb. they listen to this and found out and then got you, congratulations to them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they I won. think I would be on the next season of Serial if yeah. that happened. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. um, <laughs> I don't know how the hell we got into that. <laughs> Sorry. <tangent>. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, Gil, um, everything good uh, as far as orders go? We, we always like to get an orders update. It's hot yeah. in the warehouse, isn't it? It's like wicked hot. Yeah, we've yeah, been I'd having probably, a heat wave here. I mentioned that fan thing sucks. It's the big good. one? Or the big one? some cool air, which is great, but the noise drives me insane. Oh, yeah. 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 It's tough. Just trying to listen to something. Have you tried the, uh, have you put the frozen headband on while you've been here? Yeah, I that's my shit, man. I haven't done it this week, but like the frozen headband chillets, they're called, I believe. Yeah, uh, chill, magic. Put a put a link in the show notes, Chris. To <laughs> yeah, the yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I want actually. I want to push those. Yeah. The, yeah. They're a sponsor yeah. this week. Wait, do we so. carry those in the store, Caleb? No, but we actually should. Okay, we'll, we we'll look sh- into it. We should, but um, us, you know, our loyal customer Greg Cabral placed an order earlier this week, and we did had he- some excess chillets. We had like five of them laying around, so I sent him one, and I'd love to hear from him, like if he's wearing oh. his chillet. Greg, call Greg, us. What drop us an email, deathtalk at deathwishing dot com, and we'll uh, tell uh, tell us if you like the uh, chillet that um, Gil sent you. Yeah, so. I'd love Yo, to know, man. We need just to tell get- me next time you call. We need to get DW logo chillets. We'll work on that. Let me blowing up. This is hard. I'll talk to the next art. Year. I'll talk to the art department. See yeah. if we can get that going. Set that up. <laughs> I want to see it happen. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, thank we, you, Gil. Yes. Thank you welcome. for uh, eating those Oreos. I know it was tough on you. Do you want to take the package with you upstairs? Do you want to munch on them a little I mean, bit? I'll take a couple. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Take them. Take them. <laughs> Honestly, if you leave them here, I'll eat the whole thing. So. Gilroy. All right. So next week, that was Gil. Line, that was Gil's. Can you buy ones? Huh? That was Gil's world. With Gil, we're all just living in it. <laughs> True. <laughs> True, true. Um, bye, Gil. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Um, I love it. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. All right. So, um, yeah, Gil's World. Huge success. We should do the Oreo thing more often. Yeah. Yeah, that was funny. There's Gil. so I like, many. I like how ones, we just so. talked about food for 20 minutes. So. Ah, you know. Whatever. Yeah, we about? should just eat Oreos every episode. Hey, maybe we're all right with that. Is that, that in will? the budget? Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. <laughs> um, so it's um, it's the summertime. There's lots of shows happening. So many thugs. thick thugs. We went to Planes Mistaken for Stars last night. Caleb, Chris, and I. No, Mark. Nope. No, Mark was Mark had some things he was doing prior. Engagements. I think he had to. I think he had to oil up his jet ski. Couldn't couldn't make it out. Make it out. <laughs> <laughs> the best part about that is, is that you fucking oil a jet ski. I don't know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's like one of the steps of preparation, dude. Well, ride a tell jet us, ski. tell us about your jet ski. What do you do? I don't know. What do you? Yeah, I don't know. I don't own one. I would love to ride a jet ski. <laughs> that seems like the best. I've never been on a jet ski bucket list. I couldn't yeah, afford to fill a jet ski with fuel right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, well, um. We uh, we went to the show last night. It was at the Middle East upstairs. It was it was pretty packed too. Yeah, good turnout for a uh, Tuesday night show. Yeah, I was I was a little worried. Tuesdays are usually rough, but it was uh, yeah. Elbow, I can't remember elbow to elbow. Yeah, I can't remember last time planes played Boston. I don't. I've never seen them, so that was the actually first time I got same to see here. Them. So um, so, oh, so everyone, everyone's first. Time. Yeah, same. Yeah, cause it's been a while. I honestly don't remember last time I played Boston, but. Uh yeah, they uh, played a lot of stuff off Mercy, um, which just came out. You can get that now. Um, they're selling it on on tour right now. Um, uh, yeah, show was good. I can't get in, uh, can't complain. Uh, good sound. They played great. Uh, they, they delivered. Let me tell you. I think they their breaks in between songs are so short. They played the set basically nonstop. I didn't look away for a second. They're also such great performers. It was crazy good. Yeah, yeah. I love. I love when they don't. They don't. I don't think they did much banter at all, or you know, nothing no, much not in between all. songs. Like some bands can pull it off, but like they just like played right through. And uh, I think they played almost an hour. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, I was when I got to the show, I was like, oh my god, it's gonna be like a hundred degrees in there, but it wasn't even that bad. No. It was. It's been. It's been really hot outside. It, re- it wasn't hot in there, really. No, no it wasn't wow. that bad at all. It was. Like I mean, that an AC or something. That's awesome. Yeah. So. Good job, good job in your air conditioning, Middle East. I don't know if you upgraded that recently, but good job on Actually, that. Actually, you know what? Like Death Wish Fest last year downstairs, that would yeah, that was fine. That wasn't that hot either. No. That was nice. That was no. the same week. So oh yeah, you're right, you're right. 
But yeah, the summer is a uh, time for shows and fests. You guys are gearing up for uh, to go to This Is Hardcore? Tonight. Yeah, yeah, a new little thing we're trying out this year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, something we've never done before. So. Yeah. So uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about fests and things going on. Let's talk about This Is Hardcore first. Um, you guys, we have a table. Have there. a table. Yes. You're driving. You're driving tomorrow night. Tonight. 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 Oh, okay. Yep. Tonight. tonight. Yep. The uh, the first night is tomorrow. It's actually at Union Transfer. Yeah, but we're not gonna have a table there, right? Yeah. There's no. There's no. Um. There's no tabling at that. Okay. Um, it's only Electric Factory. I don't quite know the deal with that, but yeah. Okay. So we'll be but, there the other three days. Um. The offer still stands. If you want to go up to Mark while he's at the table and sing the cool new tunes yep. song, first five people that do it get a free record of their choice. Yep. But you can't ask who Mark is, because chances are you don't know what I look like, so you're going to have to guess. Uh, Chris, can you put a picture of Mark in the show notes? Yes. Thank no. you. Um, <laughs> Yo, people at we, we have a lot of pictures of Mark. Yeah. A lot people of at, people at Bloodfest recognize Mark's voice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. We do have a lot of pictures of Mark. Okay. Yeah. Well, There's I, a we solid just got one a new right one up. yesterday, yep. so, you know. Just, There's, yep. Yep. There, Caleb, Caleb, was it you that started it? Oh yeah, <laughs> they had a secret thread on okay. Slack, oh, which yeah. is a community. Yeah, we use like yeah, we use like Slack here at the office to like talk to each other and everything. But you can make like private groups. And for the longest time, Caleb started a private group that it was called <laughs> Pictures of Mark. And I didn't know about it. People for two would months. just be secretly yeah. taking pictures of Mark it was, and posting it, was, it in the thread. If you're thinking to yourself, "Oh, why do these people hate him, and why does Mark hang out with them?" I'm thinking the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that seems like a mean thing to do. You should be flattered. And it was funny. How'd you discover it? Actually, he saw it on my my Caleb computer. Caleb left it open on his screen one time. Was, I, I, didn't, I, I did was, not. I knew it was weird when Rich and Caleb would come in my office and just start taking selfies together when they were really just taking photos. of Oh me. my god! Yeah, I've, and I was I would, like, this is weird because who takes photos of themselves and then they especially don't and then together. And yeah. I just for some reason didn't question it, <laughs> and they're just taking photos of me the whole time, Caleb. Uh, the worst part, I was just working at my desk, and he took a photo underneath my desk <laughs> of my like my legs and my <laughs> undercarriage, and I had no idea until a month or two later when I saw it, and it was like he said something like, uh, uh, "I can't remember what you said." Some Honest, caption, honestly, Mark. It was I don't, I, I don't remember. The captions were great, but I don't remember any of them. But the picture you're talking about you your your shirt was up a little bit all right yeah fuck and you. your tub tub was out <laughs> <laughs> what a dick <laughs> there's also one where everyone was talking about something and i looked tired i guess and i was like rubbing my eyes and kid <laughs> took a photo of me rubbing my eyes and he goes look at the idea man like making fun of me it's like <laughs> he spent the fucking end. <laughs> oh, oh the, the pictures of mark thread what a great thread uh little does anyways. he know we still have one Oh, yeah, we do. He's not invited to it either. Good. Um, so, yeah, we're going to This Is Hardcore. We're going to be there all three days. It's going to be a table. We're going to have, what, records, merch, everything. Records, merch. Patches. Banners, CDs. patches, stickers, CDs, tapes, mm-hmm. slip mats, mugs. Did you say banners? I did say banners. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah, I wasn't paying attention. So we're basically going to have... A lot of distro stuff, a lot yeah, of stuff. We're basically going to have the entire store yeah, with us. Yeah, almost. We have a lot of shit. <laughs> yeah. So uh, if you're going to This Is Hardcore, come say hi. Say hi to Mark. Say hi to Caleb. Yep. Um, yeah. Tell them uh, they'd love to talk to you about uh, cool new tunes. Yep. And uh, Gills World. Yes, we will be there all all three days. You guys excited? You guys uh, ready awesome. to go? Yeah. Yeah, we're all packed up. They're all packed up. We just got to bring everything this year. Or? Bring everything this year. All right. Thanks all for right. reminding people. Yeah, all right. Good. It's going to be good. Thursday, good. Code Orange is playing Thursday. Yep. Yes. With Snapcase. Yep. Which is going to be awesome. And then Harm's Way is playing Sunday. Yeah. Any any anyone partic- anyone in particular that you're looking for, looking forward to? Oh, I really, really mentioned a big one. What? American Nightmare. I'm really excited to see American Nightmare. Have you seen American Nightmare before? Have not seen okay. American Nightmare. There you go. So also really excited to see Suicide File, who's playing right before them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be great. There you go. And uh, it'll be good to see Bane again. Yeah, for yeah. one of the last times. Yeah. So. so um, you guys have been to quite a bit of fests summer festivals sure caleb in particular he's been to every oz fest yeah yeah me and oz you're tight <laughs> you and sharon <clears throat> yeah <laughs> so uh i wanted to talk a little bit about that um what 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 fest have you guys been to i've been to uh warp tour obviously sound and fury this is hardcore uh 
Do you guys remember Tattoo the Earth? No. I talked about this, right? Yeah, that that was fun. I think it was only like one year. It was back when I was... Tattoo I, I, the Earth. I think I was in high school or... Yeah, I think I was in high school. Maybe I was just started college or something like that. Oh, but, is this what you were talking about yesterday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like... It was a tattoo festival slash music festival. But like, at the time, Massachusetts uh, didn't allow for tattoos... So, like, there was just no tattoos there. So, Tattoo the Earth was just, like, couldn't get a tattoo at Tattoo the Earth. <laughs> I, I never knew that, really. Yeah, I mean... Not that long how ago? Rec- do you guys remember how recently it was that, like, they let tattoos actually happen? I mean, like, ten years ago? I don't know, maybe. Yeah, somewhere around. They did, they, you had, you'd have to go to New Hampshire to, like, get a tattoo around here. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah, so, um... I'm trying to think of some of the bands. Um, Slayer played, definitely. Uh, Hatebreed. I remember Hatebreed. Hell Yeah. Uh, I don't remember something. I think Slipknot played or something. I don't remember, but that was fun. I don't like out. I'm not a big fan of outdoor festivals. When do you think that was? Oh man, I I don't know. Early 2000s. I have no clue. All right. Yeah, I mean, uh, 2000, 2001, 2002. Cool. Maybe maybe I'm a little bit off, but I think it was around there. But yeah, I saw Hatebreed play. So that was cool. Worth That's it. Awesome. Worth it alone. Worth it. Yeah. <laughs> I love. I love fest, but you know, it, they I mean, they get grading. I mean, I've, it's stupid to like complain, but it's like you know, too much of a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I I went to the first three or four Sound and Furies. So that was good. Awesome. That was good. Um. Yeah. I never went to Sound and Fury. Yeah, Sound and Fury was awesome. I love going. <clears throat> I love going there every year. Um. They changed the venues. Um. Once. It was at it was it was in another venue for the last three years or so. Uh, do you remember the motorcycle incident there? I remember reading a lot about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whose well, set you, was it during? Oh, it was like a moped. Yeah, you had, you had firsthand experience, right? Yeah, yeah, I was there. Uh, <laughs> so some kid just rode in with a moped. I had no idea who it was. I don't, I, don't, I still don't know who. I I didn't really you know get the whole. But someone just drove in in a moped and. Uh, chaos ensued after that they shut the they sh- they shut it down they shut down the show why i i, I never understood like yeah it's not supposed to it was, be there it was but a like, little chaotic at the time so i couldn't tell you exactly what happened yeah, i don't really I wonder, know like, but i we just i just saw a moped come driving into the into the show <laughs> and uh they they and it got a little got a little while i think people got mad at some security and uh they ended up shutting the fest down because it just got a little wild i got you i think it was the last it was like the last day. It was like halfway through the last day of the fest. Um, but someone, and I have no idea who this was, but someone was like, "Well, I'll just have I'll just have the bands play at my house." And that's good oh. idea. <laughs> no, that was not a good idea. How, how at all. far away was it? Uh, I don't know. I was with Dave from Blacklisted, and uh, we drove. I don't know. We probably drove. We drove for a little bit, and they're like, "Oh, is it the shows there?" And we get to the show, and I was a little nervous because we got there, and the neighbors were absolutely pissed. <laughs> when I say like, imagine like, imagine this is hardcore. Like you guys have been in this hardcore, obviously. Mm-hmm. Imagine like half the crowd just going to someone's house in the backyard, right? Yeah. So we get. I, we get to the we get to the house we found and we had to park like a mile away because like yep. all this it was like this like little it was just this house in a neighborhood people were just parking on the street you know whatever and we get to the show and apparently like and it was like Tiger's Jaw um, Bane played I can't remember who else there was like four or five bands they played like really short like maybe three or four songs there's but, a Tiger's Jaw video on YouTube still yeah we should put that people in the were show literally notes. sitting on the roof watching the show which was it was pretty cool <laughs> that's sick. Uh, but we get to the show and like I'm walking through the neighborhood and like the neighbors are pissed. Like you just can just see them. They're just like looking at us like fuck you guys. Like what yeah. the hell are you doing in my neighborhood? Like the show didn't start by then. They were just like what the fuck is going on? There's hundreds of kids just walking through the neighborhood going to this house. Yep. And we get to the house and like you couldn't even get into the backyard. Like that's where the show was happening. It was yep. just like that many people. Oh my so, like, god! So you could like kind of hear it coming, like ha- like from the outside. You can kind of see like I think there was like a fence around us. So you can kind of see the show, but whatever. But that was pretty wild. That was probably the one of the crazier things that I've yeah, seen at nuts. a fest. Um, have you guys? Uh, where, what have you guys been to? I actually had a similar story to what you just mentioned. Um, I was filling in for a friend's band on tour, and we went down to um, Florida for East Beast Fest. 
Yeah. Um, and we saw there was an after show. Turnstile played a living room, and it was the oh, same yeah. thing. Like cars around the block, everybody in this house, and you couldn't like you couldn't get in. There's there's definitely video of it. It was pretty insane. But we left. Some some guy came out and started waving a gun. So. <laughs> <laughs> we, we left. Chris, we should try to find some of these videos and, and include them in the, in the yeah, show notes. I'll, I'll yeah, I'll do uh, some to, research. Yeah, I think I've seen the Tiger Straw one on YouTube. Yeah, I, I think, think I've there's seen There's definitely... Well. A, there's definitely I'll, I'll try to help you find the Turnstile one, but there, yeah, yeah, there's should, definitely a video of that. That That's was actually cool. with Gil. Wow. Have you um have you been to any like the bigger ones, like uh, OzFest? Yeah, I went to OzFest a few years. Who did you go to see, Static X? <laughs> Uh, I mean, you know, all the new metal kings. You yeah. Know? No, I went. I went a year. Uh, Black Sabbath played one of the years I went. Yeah. Um. Who? I mean, nothing really exciting. You know, yeah. I, got, I got to see Slipknot. Yeah. So you know, dreams. You're into that. Dreams do come true. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Mark. It was sick. My mom just hung out in the. Uh, she took us. Did she drop you off? She just hung out in like the pavilion the whole day. Did she go into the show? Because like I brought friends. Like, did she have to buy a ticket to, like, go to the show? Yeah. That's the yeah. worst. Yeah, she... My, I feel, I my feel mom's really an awesome bad. lady. Yeah. Yeah. Looking back in it, I was, you know, I was like, uh, like, whatever, like, they're, they're not gonna do anything anyways, but, like, I just, like, was like, fuck, it must suck to be, like, a parent oh, having yeah. to, like, hang out at this show. She, she was just hanging out with other... She told me all about it. She was just like, yeah, Yeah, they always, know. like, make friends with yeah, someone. They're like, our kids are stupid, huh? And they're yeah. like, yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, yeah, she took because like I took a bunch of friends with me, and everybody's parents were like, "What is what is this witchcraft?" So my mom's just like, "Yeah, I'll just go with them. It's fine." Yeah. Uh, well, um, yeah, I don't know. I've Mark, Chris, guessed. have you ever? Do you do you guys go to Warp Tour or anything like that? Oh, I was a frequent attendee. Warped of Tour. Warped I figured Warped. you went to Warp Tour. Mark's got a good Warp Tour story, right, Mark? Yeah. Um, you do? Yeah. Unfortunately, um, I think it was two thousand five. Two thousand five was I think was the first year I went, and I was. Uh, Dancing to less than Jake, real hot, dehydrated. Dancing like what? Like skanking. To yeah. less than Jake. <laughs> That's what I thought. That's what God I thought. Damn it! Yep. Mark's really into ska. <laughs> um, so I was, yeah, and then I was very dehydrated, and because I, I really wasn't drinking water. It was when I was at the Fitchburg Airport, and it was like really dusty. And, oh, I remember that place. Yeah, yeah, I remember just breathing in dirt and. Uh, that was, I think, I'm pretty sure I remember reading, you don't have to pay for water there now. There's like, you can bring a water bottle, you can just refill. But then you did, and it was like $6 cans of water, and I just didn't have money. Jesus. Yeah. I remember that. I remember people would like, like it's their bad. merch tables would, like bands would be selling like water yeah. underneath the table for like a dollar, because like they knew it was like... It's fucked up. Because they knew like they could, they could just make money from selling water there. Yeah. So yeah, it was pretty wild. So I like passed out, and then I woke up not that long like because less jake was still playing but i was in one of those like medical tents and then i like yeah um but yeah so that's what happened just going real hard to so you some, just passed some out upstroke clean guitars and some horns so you just passed out yeah from and, dancing and you just you just did someone like have to drag tent? you to like like I your friends so. did your friends I, bring you or something I, none of my friends were with me so you're just alone. So some good. I Samaritan. went to Warped Tour with other people. I didn't no, go to no, Warped Tour no. alone. I, mean, I just no mean one. Like, everyone, everyone's like, Lesson Jake's fucking lame. So no one watched. I just the mean movie. at that point you were alone. Yes. Yeah. But there was it was one of the main stages. So I think there was a medical tent near because I I remember Lesson Jake still so like in good, sight when I got there. A good there. Samaritan had to dr- drag your lifeless body to the medical I tent. I think so. Yeah. I never. <laughs> I was like 14. <laughs> and I probably didn't even look to ask, and as soon as I just ran away and probably just ate candy or something. Oh, that's too bad. Did your parents have to come pick you up? No. That's... So you just went back to the show? Yeah, I just hung out the rest of the day. Okay. And you still yeah. went hard? I think, yeah. Cool. Cool. I had fun. Yeah, Saves the Day played. Chris Conley was fat and had pink hair then. Yeah. So that was a really good time. That's wicked cool. Sound the Alarm was that... era. Oh, Sound the Alarm. Okay. Yeah. Cool. It was good. Very cool. Chris, you... the... Chris, I bet you Chris didn't even go to fest. He just hung outside the fest and just yelled at people. Uh... Just like, fuck this fest. Fest no, I really, sucks. I, I really never went to a, a festival until working here. Yeah, you just weren't into like those those other ones. No, nah. not really. No. Nah. Are you sure you didn't? Are you sure you didn't like stand outside the fest and just say like "fuck these people"? Going if to the fest? I could, I would have. Okay, I thought I figured you so, might have done that. Uh. No, I'm not that cool. 
Yeah. I'll, I'm, I'm going to do it at this is hardcore to make yeah. it the last time. <laughs> yeah, that should work out well. Uh, <laughs> how yeah. much, How much? speaking of fest, how much would it be for us to get a table at the Gathering of the Juggalos? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, we can oh, look, we'll look into it. We'll look into it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll hit up. You know a guy, right? I'll hit up, I'll hit up my, my bud. What's his name? Sha- I- Shady J. <laughs> <laughs> or I was trying to. I couldn't think of their fucking names. Damn. A- anyways, uh, this podcast is uh, brought to you by Fago. <laughs> <laughs> L- live by the hatchet, right? Is that what they say? We're gonna get fucked up. Whoop whoop. Whoop whoop. Well, uh, yeah, that should be a uh, great time. So yeah, go um go see the crew. Go to our table at this is Harker. Go see a lot of bands. Um, oh my god, that's how we started with this. Yeah. A lot of tangents today. I'm feeling it. That's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Gelling. Are you gelling? That's fine. Like That's fine. Speaking of fests and shows and everything, it's that time for our favorite happy miserable oh yeah segment. Da, 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 tour, tour time. time with miserable. I like that. Chris. I like that he's robotic miserable. intro. He's got glasses. He's got a new haircut. <laughs> it's tour time. Tour time. Tour time with. Miserable Chris. <laughs> oh my god! That was perfect. That was great. That was incredible. <laughs> that was uh, uh I'll throw some auto tune on that. It'll be great. No, yeah. do not. You don't need to. That. That. It sounded great. Yes. Off the great. dome. That was <laughs> so good. All right, tour time. Chris, tell us what tell us about those tours happening. Cool. So uh I kinda have to go off the dome here. Google Docs isn't opening on my phone, so uh Do you want me to do you wanna p- submit a bug report? Yes, actually. <laughs> I, I just updated the app. Should we too. stop? Should we stop? <laughs> you want to submit Just a borrow board? Mark's. Just look at Mark's phone. No, it's fine. No, because I was going to write notes in there, and I I wasn't able to That's do okay. That, so. That's okay. Um, okay, it's cool. Fucking tour time. Just go on tour. Yeah, I'm just going to wing it. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> fucking tour time. It's crazy. We're just touring and yeah, things we, yeah. like that. We're just busy touring. Um <laughs> Dude, you don't need fucking notes to go on tour. Just fucking do it. Just do it, man. Okay. Anyways. Tour time. Miserable Chris. Uh, <laughs> do we need the song again? <laughs> yes. Yeah, just, yes. Just redo the song. I don't remember it. Don't worry. We'll, uh, Dude, I'll, just start I'll, a thread on the B9 there. and just put all the dates. T- TBA. They'll hook you up. Here, I'll, yeah. I'll do tour time. Go see a fucking show. <laughs> That's it. You know. Uh, Planes. Harm's way. Cool. Uh, anyways, all right. Yeah, uh, tell us about the tours. Tell us about the tours. All right. Uh, so we have one announcement this week. Uh, Harm's Way is going to be on tour with uh, the Black Dahlia Murder. Yeah, they just got which is really They're crazy on that tour. Yeah, it's kind of a big thing, uh, and that's in October. Okay. So check out those dates. Uh, it's going to be pretty much all of October. That'd be some good music to get like in the spooky mood for Halloween. Yeah, definitely. I, I think it's definitely fitting for October. <laughs> yeah, it's spooky. Spooky mood. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Dude, fucking spooky music. <laughs> Love that shit. Death Wish puts so out spooky <laughs> music. It's such a spooky tour. That's like something my grandma would say. Ooh, spooky. Ooh. I'm going to start calling off. This music's real spooky. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you know what? I went to a haunted house last year. They were just playing the Black Dahlia murder the whole time. <laughs> so spooky. Dude. Open up a door. Black Dahlia murder just started playing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, Nightmare on Elm Street soundtrack. Black Dahlia murders on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Freddy vs. Jason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Total gets me in yeah, the Yeah, we mood got El Nino, <laughs> Static X, Black Dahlia murder. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay, anyways, so uh, uh, we have a few tours that are going on now. Uh, Planes Mistaken for Stars, they're continuing on. Uh, Coliseum, they're on tour now. Uh, Loma is uh, touring Europe uh, with Touche and Dangers, so check that out. Uh, Fucked Up is playing Way Home Festival this weekend. Um, definitely check that out. Uh this hardcore obviously and that that's about it all right tour time spooky tour time with spooky miserable tour time. that was sick <laughs> uh go see a show go see go see anything have a good time uh yeah go see this is hardcore too yeah we'll be we there. already talked about that but so you know go see it we'll be there um caleb rich caleb rich uh we uh i watched the movie 
You did. Uh, it is that time of the show. Let's do it. It is Film School with Rich, starring Film, me. Film School, <laughs> excellent. Party time. Uh, Film School with Rich is brought to you by Caleb and the Death Wish store. Uh, Caleb, I heard you have something to offer the kids. Do do I do I feel like offering anything? I think you. I think you should. I don't know. I don't see any of this um, Nabisco money from this podcast, so I don't know if I can afford to uh, just keep it afloat every week. <laughs> so what? Right, you, got, rich. you want 10% off everything in the store? I think, th- I think everyone would appreciate that. All right. Put in the code BOOMSTICK. Oh, okay. BOOMSTICK. B-O-O-M and, STICK. And that's because I watched The Evil Dead. The Evil Dead. The Evil Dead. Not Evil Dead. Numero Uno. Did they change the name? Is it, did it? Is is Evil Dead Two called the Evil Dead Two? No, it's called Evil Dead Two. Okay. Um, Dead by Dawn. Okay. So I watched Evil Dead. Evil Dead is a movie mm-hmm. that came out in 1981. Am I right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I watched. Well, I mean, it was. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I watched it on Hulu Plus. Oh, really? Cool. It's streaming on there. Yeah. You got Hulu Plus now? I got the trial. You know, I was going to try it out. I said, I said, this is a good time to try it out. I'll watch a movie. You know, Maybe I'll try out some... Uh, it's on Netflix. It is? Yeah. Plus, I have the awesome I don't think. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true. Well, it was a while ago. Here's a little tip. If you guys want to watch a, watch something on TV, go to uh, canistream.it, and you can like you know punch in the movie or show that you're looking for it, and it'll tell you where it's streaming. Handy little really? trick. That's how this podcast works. Yeah, that's, I use it all the time. That's what I use it for the to, to find where I can watch the movies. Hmm. So sometimes it's like on Netflix or sometimes it's on like Hulu or whatever. Cool. Or whatever, Amazon Prime. Sometimes it's on Amazon Prime. Um, but yeah, there's your little tip for the day. Uh, Chris, can we put, those, put that in the show notes? <sighs> I guess. Okay, good. It's more... So Rich, <laughs> how much did you hate The Evil Dead? I just know for I just know you hated it. So let's just talk about it. Let's just talk about it. Because it's everything you hate in movies. I'm not going to go too deep into the plot. There's not really like a huge... Yeah, you like, don't need to worry about a plot. Basically, they go to a cabin. Cabin in the woods. They go to a cabin. They're, uh, it's like haunted or... I don't want to say haunted, but like it was well, possessed or something. Like yeah. the woods are possessed they, by evil demons or yeah, something. They, well, they release it when they play the recording of the uh, book. Right. The passage from the book. Right. Right. So, um, let's talk about the the movie a little bit. Um, seemed a little... I don't want to say low budget for the time, but it seemed like... Very low budget. Was it low budget? Yes. Because there was just like some... I don't want to... Look, I can never make a movie, obviously. I'm not that talented. Uh, there seemed to be some pretty bad edits in the movie. Oh, and yeah. Like, there's... there's ev- there's rough edges everywhere. Yeah, it's yeah. very low budget. It's, yeah, it's like this team's like first actual full length, okay. mo- feature length movie. I want to say they just made like. So I don't know this. what I don't know how much you spend on a low budget movie back in the eighties. You know, a low budget movie now could look well, great. They actually shot you know? it. Yeah, it can. You know what I mean? Like, like with a laptop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They actually shot it like late seventies. So I want to say like seventy eight, seventy nine. It took like four years oh, to sure. get this in yeah. the theaters. Yeah. So. And finish shooting it and everything. I don't think that's that's not necessarily a reason to not like a movie. No, not at all. I think like, it gives a character. Yeah, I course. love it. Of course, you're just like, oh, this is so cheesy, but it's like you know, it's it's funny and and that's the thing about the movie too. It was it was like a comedy horror sort of well, thing. That, that's the thing. So the now, first, was it funny just because it was so badly edited and filmed sometimes, or was it like almost intentionally that's, bad? That's the thing. Um, it's it's funny now. At the time, the first the first one is straight up horror. Um, but it it is very funny for obvious reasons. Okay. But so it, they kind back, of played on that in the yeah. second one. Back then, it was kind of a big deal because it's like it's really grotesque and violent, and that made like a a big splash. And when it was yeah. in theaters and everything, and um, it was seen as scary for the time. Obviously, it's not really anymore. But um, Chris, have, the, Chris or Mark, have you guys seen the movie? I have not seen. You never seen it either. No, Chris? I've seen it, but it was a while back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. The, so after this, also the series kind of evolved, and like Sam Raimi, his style is more like horror comedy. So he kind of, it kind of grew into that a little bit. Okay, okay. Which, so which spoiler alert you'll find out next week. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. So the movie itself <laughs> seemed. <laughs> Whoa, I'm, I'm on the edge of my seat right now. Uh, <laughs> That's real spooky. It's real spooky. Um, it is guys. spooky. Yeah. The. <laughs> The the scenes like the like the I don't want to say like the kind of grotesque scenes like the murder like the murders like the, you know like when they're like uh, the, 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 the blood and like all that stuff it, they're pretty over the top and ridiculous oh, very very um 
is this something that that uh was new for the time i'm assuming like were, were they were they kind of like one of the first movies to do these sorts of like ridiculous over the top sort of like blood guts sort of thing i don't know if one of the first yeah but i mean it yeah, just seemed very I mean, over the top i mean yeah. hor- horror back then was like a lot slower paced and well i mean the first evil dead's pretty slowly paced mm. but it yeah it was different it wasn't as like violent and shocking what I I off- but the, I mean you know there's been violence in movies forever yeah. so I actually thought the audio effects were actually really good I love the audio yeah effects. the the scene where like uh, he's kind of going nuts the, by himself no you know where like uh, the 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 lady is like screaming I forget which one she's so, like screaming and like making like these crazy ass noises and she like eats her own hand okay yeah you know yeah. what I mean like mm-hmm. that was really cool I actually thought the audio effects were actually really good oh, yeah they're great um, did you have any inside info on that. In, uh, How about mean, the audio? I mean, Any? a lot of it was, like, post. I mean, they did yeah. a lot of, you know, like, DIY budget effects. Like, um, you know, like, all, like, the wind and stuff. Like, that's just Sam Raimi literally going, like, whoo. Oh, really? <laughs> and they just, like, you know, pitched it down and shit like that. Yeah. Which is which is awesome. Yeah, I, mean, I, thought it, that, it, I actually thought some of those stuff actually worked really well in the movie. Yeah. Um, A lot, of, like, you know, a lot of the effects, they don't look great and hold up. But, like, I'm sure at the time was obviously I, I there's no way to know for sure because we weren't around back then but, yeah or at least i wasn't but i mean you know rich is a dinosaur so but uh i wasn't even born in 1981 i know, I know i'm fucking with you but um yeah it was, i mean it was a big deal and like that you can make a movie scary for like no money out in the woods with your friends like it's a big deal i uh yeah i appreciated the movie i'm, I'm glad you can at least appreciate it I figured. I figured. You I thought it was like an it. odd choice for you to pick the movie, though. It kind of is, but it. This is more of a cult classic than an actual classic. Yeah, because this, this isn't a. Uh, this isn't in the best movie of all time, sort of thing. It's more of like hey, a. I, I'll defend it as that forever. Well, I feel like it's more of a reference. Eh, okay, I can see where you're coming. You know from. What I mean, it's like, oh, well, you have to watch this to know where these other movies came from. Oh yeah, this this definitely is a like a big deal as far as like influencing other directors. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like it's like it's like when the Beatles would like were first like messing around with like stereo sounds. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. And they would like put the drums on the right side and like the guitars on the left side, and they're just like yeah. F- well, that's not like that's obviously not the best way to do things because yeah, but it opened up a whole new like yeah. book of tricks for people but, to experiment. But with. yeah, exactly. It was like. It was like uh, you appreciated it because they were like trying something different and like they were playing around with stereo and things like that. But you're not going to say like, "Oh man, this is perfect." I can't believe like putting the drums on the all the drums on the right side on the right side speaker is awesome. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, no, I, I totally know what you mean. Same in this movie, it's like this. You know, it's not awesome, but it has like these like these like ridiculous scenes, and uh, it opened up. I'm sure the the uh for the e- evil dead 2 mm-hmm. to be a really good movie which i'm told is a very good movie yes we'll we'll mention trey um wanted to be here for this but i i guess he couldn't make it um he trey yelled at me about 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 the movie yeah he he doesn't like it the first one he said he's all about evil dead yeah he's too. like i don't know why caleb picked that like this is not I'm just, you have to start okay i have to take a step back because, like, I'll defend this movie forever because I fucking love it. And I, I realize I'm a little biased because there's, like, nostalgia mixed in every, everything for that. But I love the first one just as much as the second one, if not more. I did see it first. I was just... <laughs> so this never happens anymore. But I was in um, a movie store with my cousin. And we were just looking at movies. And I saw the cover. Just Ash on the cover with a shotgun and a chainsaw. And I was like, yo, we're watching that. So, like, me and him split it. We bought it. And we watched it, and it was, like, one of the first horror movies I ever saw. And oh, it yeah. just, like, blew me away. Yeah. And, like, that happened for a lot of other people, too. Oh, it's, I forgot to mention, too. I really like... I, I did like some of the camera angles that they did. So good. All, like, the, all the Dutch angles and, like, this, the weird... This didn't turn out great because, like, the camera was weird. But, like, you know when they were dragging one of the uh, ladies' bodies? Mm-hmm. And, like, the camera was, like, kind of slowly kind of moving along with the body on the floor because it was like bumpy and like you could tell like they just yeah. like they just like threw it together you know yeah, they yeah. probably put the camera on like a wagon wheel or something you know yeah, what I mean a lot, a lot of them is just a lot of the shots are just them holding the camera or yeah, like they had it yeah. attached to like two by fours and stuff like you know all the 
they're like really famous but the shots of like the point of view shots of like running through the forest and like they end up like zooming in on people and stuff and they yeah. kind of they kind of treat yeah. it as like you know like an ent- entity i forget what they called it exactly but yeah um, that's just them with a camera taped to a two by four just running in the forest so yeah you know well i watched this movie with uh with meg What'd she think? She hated it. She's of like, this she sucks. Did. Like, I, she couldn't even sit through the whole movie. <laughs> like, she just, like, walked out, and she was just like, I gotta go. She didn't like it at all. She's like, this yeah. movie sucks. And, I, and I, I'm told I, Evil Dead 2 is really good, so, like, I kind of wanted her to watch that. But I don't know if she, I'm gonna get her to watch it, because she she's thought... She's not gonna... Yeah. If, well, I don't know. Trey's kind of the... Well, maybe he's not the exception. I know a lot of people like Evil Dead 2 more. It's not, like... It's not really a remake, but it basically is. It's the same movie with just, like... A little bit more budget, a little bit more experience, and it should, it. I could see why people think it's better. Yeah. Okay. So, Evil Dead, the Evil Dead. It's not terrible. I liked it more. Look at I liked it more than Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> I definitely did. Not well, even lying. Hey, I do too. Because I appreciated the uh, the ridiculous uh, blood and you know some of the stuff was like really cool you know like yeah, some punk. of the it's did. punk dude it's it's punk filmmaking yeah it's yeah. awesome i really liked it but it's it's not it's not a great movie agree to disagree but that's okay i'm glad you can at least take a step back and appreciate it for like you know oh yeah yeah i'm glad i watched it yeah if if i this is probably one of if not like my favorite movies and if i like made you watch it first you would be like i don't want to do this segment anymore it's not like terrible like you would think like oh i gotta watch sharknado because it's like such a <laughs> bad movie you know what i mean yeah no it's got it's definitely got more charm besides than, Shark- like, sharknado 3 was on last night i believe oh yeah did you watch that no i didn't get to watch it oh, but damn dude uh yeah it's not like that kind of movie mm-hmm. i think like they're not trying to be it's not really trying to be a terrible movie no not at all yeah. the, first, the first one no I, no none of them are trying to be terrible yeah but you'll see with the second and maybe the third that they inject a lot more comedy in them it's funny that they used they kind of used that sort of like oh we did kind of a bad job editing and we it, we didn't mean it to, for it to be funny but it was and they yeah. just kind of and I guess they just... I haven't seen Evil Dead 2, but they kind of just played on that. Yeah. That was interesting. So, But Sam Raimi, the director and writer, right? He wrote wrote the yep. script? He, he usually writes with his brother, Ted Raimi. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he went on to do everything. Oh, yeah. yeah. Spider-Man? Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. I looked up on, on IMDb, like yeah. all the stuff he's done. He's done, like, everything. So, yeah. I love Sam Raimi. Hey, did something right. Yeah. After that, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, so, as far as cult movies go, the this these are, like, you know the cream of the crop like these are some of the biggest cult movies ever okay well that was the evil dead um caleb what do i have to uh watch for the next episode of Death evil Talk? dead 2 dead by dawn really it's gonna, yep. you're just gonna make i don't even that? care i don't even care you're gonna have to watch it we're getting spooky spooky tours spooky movies <laughs> spooky, spooky music uh it's not even halloween yet doesn't matter halloween comes early and oh, also, by the way, <laughs> it comes early. If Same it, time every year. <laughs> no, it comes early at Death Wish. We really like spooky shit. Um, also, by the way, they're somewhat rebooting the Evil Dead franchise. I saw that. It's going to be a show on Stars, yep. right? Yeah. With Bruce Campbell. Mm-hmm. Which is a Does big Sam Raimi write deal. the show? Um, I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question, right? Yeah. I know he's a producer, and same with bruce campbell um i don't know who wrote it i have to look into that i assume they probably wrote it yeah makes sense um so caleb uh film school with rich is brought to you boom by you and the death wish store mm-hmm. use boomstick yep and receive 10 percent off your next order at the death wish store your whole death wish store death wish com. go get it so guys feel like we went a little bit long on that sorry that was, yeah that was really long it was a good one though it's yeah you know it's evil dead come on we got a lot we get a lot to talk about i i saw the evil dead i've seen it like a hundred times but i saw it at midnight in this old theater and there was a bat flying around we were like in the um up top in the balcony and there's a bat flying around the whole time it was sick it was so spooky actually um so all right that's it for uh the uh film, film school. school with rich uh what we're into let's do what we're into and uh wrap up the show uh caleb you want to start sure yeah i'm uh i'm into rice's beach 
Hey, Mark, looking at you. Rice's Beach is a dope beach in Beverly. Yeah. That's what's up. Mark took me. I didn't have a bathing suit, so I jumped in my shorts <laughs> and played frisbee. He showed up, and I was there with Sam and my friend Chris, who's here from Worcester, and I was like, do you know where we're going? He was dressed like this with his sneakers on. I was like... He was like, yeah, I'll figure it out. And Did you guys just, run into each other, or you just were you planning on meeting? No, he up? was he was coming. Oh, okay, all right, all right, sorry. So, where's that beach? A few, um, few blocks away. Yeah, it's right over there. The one on Lothrop, like off of Lothrop Street. No, oh. it's near there. It's okay. like we keep driving along the shore a little bit. Okay, north. I so, guess yeah. it's summer. I'm into the beach. I don't. I yeah. don't. I don't beach much. So, what do you play? Do you play paddle paddleboard? I'll I'll do whatever. I just like the Volleyball? water. Volleyball. We played frisbee. Frisbee. is what we did but like i don't i don't know are you good at frisbee i no me no i bet mark kills it at frisbee i'm okay at frisbee he's oh. he's very you good. don't play ultimate? we're using like disc like from disc golf i play a lot of disc golf Here we oh go. yeah you guys you guys said that i, I that. used to be a little bit better at frisbee but i don't do it very often yeah and, you know i can i can get the frisbee to you but don't ask for much more you know i understand, I understand. i'm also into you know just going to thove <laughs> <laughs> this is hardcore you know there we go yeah Hard, hardcore for hardcore mark what's up with you i saw ant-man last night and i'm really into it i didn't even I know what was... this was until you guys like told me about it like you said which like... is surprising there's been a lot of advertising for it and stuff yeah i think pa- i looked paul I, rudd's a super i think i ended up seeing a commercial yeah paul rudd's in it it's really good it's it, i thought it was funny it was fun is this like a is this like a comic book movie again? Yeah, it's all within the Marvel stuff. It's Marvel. tied it's tied into Avengers and stuff. Is Marvel better than DC? Yes. Yeah. Do they make better movies or something? They yes. definitely make better definitely, movies. Definitely yeah. yeah definitely See, I don't know much movies. sorry, I don't know anything about comics. Com- comics wise, it's a little bit DC closer. DC out, is like out, Batman and Superman. Outside stuff. of like Batman. What about begins? that trailer? The Batman the ba- Superman trailer? Yeah, I it saw looks that. Okay, I'm gonna go see it, but I it's very confusing. I'm not very excited. Did any of you guys go to Comic Con? No. No, no. <laughs> I think you would know. <laughs> Although I do want to go one of these days. That'd be cool. Years, yeah. have you never, no one's ever been, right? No. no, 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 no. They, have a my, bo- they have a Boston one. My brother went to they a do. Comic-Con in Rhode Island. He just, My brother is stand-up comedy, and he did comedy at this Comic-Con. And the actual puppet from, like, Jaws was there. And the, the awesome. girl who gets murdered at the beginning of Jaws is, like, 60 years old, and she was there, too. That was, like... The main attraction, so it wasn't that cool. Hey, that's that's pretty so we cool. like. So we do we do we like the Batman vs Superman trailer? I don't know. We'll see. It, okay. It's I'm interesting. Gonna, yeah. What about Suicide Squad? I I actually also was kind of I was kind of digging it. I'm into. Yeah. The, I'm I didn't into know my just, bo- I didn't know my boy uh, Will, Will Smith was in it. Okay, how many times does he say in a trailer, "We got to save the world"? I feel like he says that every trailer. If that motherfucker, he's did, just playing if, a good guy. If he picked Suicide Squad over Independence Day two to film, if they were, if that was like, like a conflict of interest, I wouldn't oh blame God, him. It wasn't. How do you know? Independence Day two is in production now. Suicide Squad, they're giving like, trailers and stuff. Yeah. Well, yeah. if there was a conflict and he picked that over, think think about how early you have he's to put records into production. Up. He's fucking up. He's he's not. I right. was into the trailer until the Joker showed up. You don't I'm like Jared Leto? I didn't even oh think the God. Joker's that bad. It's not like... I mean, out of bad. all of it... it I'm gonna I, hurt I you real it's... bad. Who's your favorite Joker of all time? Heath Ledger. Yeah. Heath Ledger. I thought he was pretty good, yeah. yeah. Heath yeah. Ledger's real good. Um, yeah. I was gonna Nicholson's say him right. with Jack Nich- Nicholson. I thought yeah. Jack he, Nicholson. He, yeah. In a different way. But I, I think mean, Leto's gonna be fine in a different way. I used to love the Batman TV show. I was creeped out by him. Like, I was, like, yeah. scared. Did you I guys mean, like hey, the Batman TV show? The Adam West? Series? Yeah. Like, yeah. the Holy no, no, Poppin'. No, 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 The one, the real life one. Holy Poppin' Popcorn Colonel's Batman. The Did Penguins you ever see it? Like, the, the really old one? Or? Yeah, yeah. Was, it was in the 70s that it was? Yeah, the Adam yeah. West yeah. Batman. Yeah. 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 Did you ever watch that? Yeah. Yeah, I love that. I love that when I was a kid. It's fun. I think it was, that, it was played reruns. <laughs> yeah, it was great. <laughs> it was great. Um... I had to look up, like, what Suicide Squad was, because I didn't get it. Yeah, just all the bad dudes. Yeah. I'm really into the idea of, like, hey, let's make the bad guys do our bidding. Like, that's awesome. That's what I'm Yeah, this is, like, an actual comic, right? Probably. I don't know. I I'm think not, so. Probably, yeah, yeah. Most likely. There's a lot, of the, a lot of the people in that trailer I'm not familiar with. Yeah. That I'm going to learn about. No. I, I knew who Harley Quinn was, but the Joker, but. Yeah. There we go. I wish the Penguin was in there just being sad. <laughs> the sad life. <laughs> Danny DeVito just I'm, being short. I don't even know where we left off. How do we start talking about? Oh, we're this? talking about Ant Man. Ant Man was, Ant-Man. Ant-Man was Ant-Man. awesome. Okay, yeah, the yeah. Penguin is one of the most sad like stories that's ever existed. There was like a one shot. Dude, Danny there was, DeVito as the Penguin. Well, not even like the movie. There was like a one shot comic of just the Penguin, how he became the Penguin, like four years ago. I read, and it was just like, God damn it, this is so sad. 
Oh, and really? His parents just hated him. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Ant Man was cool. I I liked it a lot too, Mark. Cool. I like I like that it's like a lot smaller. It's not like oh yeah. the world is gonna end. It's like Ocean's Eleven. They're just trying to steal something from somewhere. Yeah. Really cool. It was oh. cool. Actually, you watch House of Cards, right? Love House of Cards. Do you Cards. remember in the first season? I don't remember his name, but the guy that Frank. Spoiler alert! This is like three years later. Um, the guy that Frank ended up like putting in the car and like turning yeah, the yeah, car the on. Yeah, yeah, the taller kind of bald, bald guy. guy. Yeah, He's yeah, the yeah. bad guy in it, man. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. He's cool. a good actor. I like cool. him. Awesome, Chris. Uh, I'm actually into Agents of Shield. So <laughs> yes, <laughs> is that, is that, a, is that's that a good? TV show, right? Yeah, yeah. What's Again, that on? What channel is that on? Marvel. Uh, it's, it's on Netflix. That's what it's on. It's on Rich. Netflix. Yeah. Is it on like regular TV or yeah, is it, like, I think it's so. on NBC normally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Because like, what's the one that's like kind of like uh, Agent Carter? No, what's the one that's like? I think it's a Netflix ex- Netflix exclusive. It's like kind of bad. Daredevil. 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 It, it's, it's, it's a yeah. Sorry, it has like more of like a. It's more like swearing and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Daredevil's. I heard awesome. that one's good too. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. I've been watching that. Should so. I watch Agents of Shield? You've told yes. me I should watch it. I heard it starts to tie in with the movies. It does. So yeah. I haven't gotten to that point yet, but I've been told that it does. It's so sick. Oh, Agent Carter so was like old in the beginning. That I was know. so I sick. Love the bo- yeah, that the beginning awesome. of Ant Man. <laughs> Sorry, I I'm gonna stop talking. Yeah. because I'll go on and on about Marvel. Yeah, you probably want to know what I'm into too. Yeah, what are you into, Rich? Um, so that yeah, new- Ant Man was so sick, right, Mark? <laughs> Yo, that new Envy record, <laughs> right? Straight fire, <laughs> Atheist Cornea. It's so good. I was doing it a hundred times. Fire, fire, I'm only fire, listening fire. to the new Envy record from now on for the rest of the summer. <clears throat> Until Where's your Envy shirt that you wear every day except today? Yeah. I don't wear it every day. You're you being wear ridiculous. it every day, I, every at day, least once every a week. Day. Here's the thing. Maybe. You, have, you have all plain shirts and you have a few band shirts you wear and Envy is in, yeah. Yeah. You know in your wheelhouse. Because I told you guys this. There's certain shirts that just fit you like perfectly. It's like a glove. Why do you guys think I wear that Rev shirt all the time? And, I, it's only just. Feels it's like really it's like this one. There's a couple, I have like this older Hope Con shirt too, and it fits me fucking perfectly. It has like ten holes in it, but I'm like I can't give it up. Yeah, like just it fits so perfect. There's just some shirts, and there's some shirts that I'll wear like twice and I'll never wear it again because it's like this sucks. Like it's not. It just doesn't fit right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I hate it when the sleeves. It's a luck of the draw. I hate it when the sleeves like pop out. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, that's awful. Or when they're so too yeah. tight. I'm into that. I can't show everyone my guns. So go listen to that. It's fucking perfect. <laughs> Best record to date. <laughs> Best record ever to date, or well, their for the best Envy record? catalog? For the I'm Envy not like catalog. a huge Envy fan, but I they're good, and I like this new record as well. For that whatever that's worth. Would you say they're spooky? <laughs> <laughs> no, not really at all. <laughs> not spooky. Okay. Uh, so go listen to that, and um, I just I blew through the first season of Halt and Catch Fire. Oh, yeah, Are you guys familiar? What, it, what I, I know what it is. I've never seen it. Though. It's a show on AMC. It's the oh. computer thing, right? Yeah, yeah. I've, okay. only, I've only seen one season of Mad Men, but I'm going to assume that uh, this is uh, Mad Men with computers uh, along the same lines. <laughs> uh, it's uh, it's fantastic. I mean, I don't know if I like it a lot because I'm just, like, really into technology. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Am I just, like, do I just, like, like it so much because they talk about, like, old computers and stuff? It's basically about, like, uh, it's a, a, a fake company, basically. It didn't really happen, but it's based on... It has some real-life element things, you know? Okay. Like, this this company in the early 80s... I think it was the early 80s, yeah. You know, going up against, like, IBM and Apple. Yep. For uh, computer dominancy. It's right up your alley. That's yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. I love it. Really good really good show. Go see that. Uh, first season's on Netflix. Let's, there, we're in season two right now on AMC. Really? I remember thinking that I was like, I didn't hear anyone talk about a halt and catch fire. I didn't see anything about it on the internet. Like last year when it came out, I remember being like, well, AMC struck out because that's not getting a season two. <laughs> but I guess it's on. Okay, cool. I don't, I only heard people like talking about it recently and that's why yeah. I checked it out and I was like, oh. Remember that show that was on AMC Turn? No. Backwards R? It's kind of like Breaking Bad. I don't think Breaking Bad's like first season was like. No, like, it only started getting crazy popular until, like, the last two right, or three. Right, and, and because it was on Netflix, you could watch, like, ev- the yeah. whole thing on Netflix, and people got really into it. By the time, like, season four, was it, what did it go to, like, six seasons or five yeah, seasons or something six, like that? I think. By the time, like, those seasons came out, people were, like, addicted. Yeah. And, like, that's when it, like, really blew up. It's kind of like I just read a story about, you, you guys seen the movie Wet Hot American Summer? Yep. Yeah. No. I, <laughs> Rich, you should <laughs> see it. Unless Caleb puts I it on the you, list. I bet you think it's funny, but... 
anyways, that that apparently made like a hundred thousand dollars in the box office when it came out in two thousand one, and then it was on Netflix, and then all these people ended up loving it, and now Netflix is doing like a original a series about it. Oh, really? Yeah. And it's all these famous people that weren't famous then. I think it actually comes out July thirty first. All right. There you go, a little plug for that, Mark. Do you work for them, too, on the side? I really wish. <laughs> All right, well, um, that's about it, guys. Cool. We're going to wrap this up. It's probably good for the month, right? Yeah, we're good. Might have uh, to be. It's going to be starting to get pretty busy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, if you guys um, if you guys like what you hear, uh, please go to iTunes, search Death Wish Inc., and um, leave us a rating. Five stars, preferably. Yeah, five stars, yeah. Um, if you want to leave us one star, um, just go look for some other podcast um, and just leave them a one star because no need to take it out on us. Yeah, we 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 really need the positive press. If you're gonna leave one star, just enter that mad. Just go to a YouTube page and get in an argument with someone in the comments. <laughs> Any minute of the day, there's someone arguing on YouTube. Um, what? Okay. <laughs> So yeah, go there. Uh, subscribe to us. Leave leave us a, leave us a rating if you like. Uh, leave us a five star rating if you like what you hear. Uh, you can listen to us on YouTube if you're listening there now. Just hit the subscribe button so you, you can hear them there. Deathwish, uh, sorry, youtubecom slash Deathwish Inc. And if you want to be a part of the show and leave some feedback, uh, you can email us deathtalk at deathwishinc.com. You can use the hashtag Ask Death Talk on Twitter or Instagram. Or wherever you... I don't know. Just use it somewhere. We're always looking at it anyway. So uh, use that to leave some feedback. And um, yeah. Or you can leave us a message. People like leaving messages. We've gotten uh, some good ones in the past. So just uh, call 754-70-DETALK. That's 754-703-8255. Uh, besides that, uh, thanks for listening. And uh, if, you're have, if you're going to... Uh, this is Hardcore... Have a great time. Come say hi at the table. You'll you'll be able to find us pretty easily at the table. Caleb will be there, and his head usually sticks out pretty uh, pretty easily. So his big dome will be there. You know, are you gonna wear a hat this year? No, I don't want to block the stage. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! You, you always <laughs> laugh too hard. You you got yourself there. So yeah, uh, yeah. Go go say hi. Come say hi and uh, say what's up. Uh, and, but that's it. Death Talk 22. Over. <laughs>